right guys, well welcome back to another video. We are gonna be making some baits today. So I bought a mold for a bandito bug. I use them all the time, black and blue. So I also bought some Plastisol that I can make these plastics with, some black dye and some blue flakes. So I'm gonna show you guys this setup real quick and let's get into it. All right, so this is the Plastisol that I bought. I bought everything from Lureworks except the mold. And so I bought a medium hard Plastisol that I can use to make these baits. Gives it some nice action and then holds up to the fish biting them so I can use them for multiple fish catches in a row. This is one gallon, it was like $34 and uh, it's, it's a lot for what you get. I also bought this glitter, I believe it is .015, so that's what it is on the top there. It's the hex pattern, so it's hex shaped glitter that you put inside of the Plastisol after you've heated it up. I also got some black colorant. This is the black 103 and I'm still working on trying to figure out how much of this to put in there but this is the dye that I bought for fluid ounces. I also got this injector on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Uh, since I'm trying this out for the first time I didn't spend a lot on the materials but so far I'm really enjoying it and I might step this up to a bigger one in the future. And then just a cheap Micro, microwave safe cup from Amazon uh, to be able to mix everything and uh, pour what you need into it. And I also got this Mediox mold from Amazon as well. It's a stone mold for a bandito bug. It's hard to see but it has some nice little airways in these crevices that help get all the plastisol into the mold and it's worked out really nicely so far. All right, so we're gonna get the mold in the clamp, get some Plastisol in the cup, start heating up in the microwave. After we're done making the bait, we're gonna see if we can go catch something at East Harbor State Park, so stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna take some of this Plastisol. I'm probably just gonna put four ounces in for now. It makes quite a bit with a little amount of Plastisol, so I don't wanna to use too much. So there's four ounces. Now I'm going to put it in the microwave for two minutes. Alright, so while that's going, we're going to put this in the clamp. You just give it enough pressure so that when you're injecting the plastic, it doesn't seep out through the sides of the mold. Alright, so after two minutes, it should look this syrupy, clear color. And uh, that's when you start mixing in the glitter and the dye. So that's what we're going to do right now. Alright, so I'm also going to be stirring this as I put in the colorant to figure out what consistency I want to see in the plastic. I want this to be fairly dark so we're going to make sure that we get enough of the black dye in there. And that's looking pretty good. I'm going to give it a few more drops and then we'll start adding the glitter in. Now for the glitter, I'm just taking like little bits of it on the screwdriver and putting it in. It's probably going to be about three or four of these. We'll see how that looks. Alright, so you can see the flake in there. Now we're going to take the injector and we're going to pull some out, put it in the mold. And top it off a little bit. Let it cool. Ease it apart. There you go. Got yourself a bait. There you go. So there you go. Nice black and blue bandito bug. You can see the blue flake in it. Came out nice.
All right, so we're gonna take that bait, see if we can catch something over at East Harbor State Park. We'll see what happens, so we'll catch you guys out on the water. All right, got my bandito bugs tied on right here. Got some in my pocket. We're gonna walk down shoreline, hit some rocks. Let's see what we can do. This is. That's big. Ophid. That is <laughs> a nice looking bowfin, but I was not expecting that. And I don't have pliers, so this will be interesting. go all right all right there we go see ya man that thing destroyed the bandito bug wow that thing fought hard that was fun all right so there you go these do catch fish just wasn't the target species i was looking for some bass but it was very weedy where i was fishing a lot of boat traffic and it was pretty difficult to get uh, anything to bite really. Uh, I did get that bowfin which is pretty cool. Put up quite the fight and uh, yeah we'll get out with some more fishing with these lures and we'll show you guys how they work. But thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the Too Many Hobbies podcast. We'll catch you guys in the next video.